You know, I've been thinking. Who we were doesn't have to define who we're going to be. We can choose. We all can. That sounds great. But how can I be myself if I don't know who I am? Reading practice for speaking. Read silently or aloud, as if you were telling it to someone else. Start by playing the audio of the entire sentence. Then, pause at the end of each chunk or sentence, giving you time to read and understand the content on your own. After that, resume playing to continue. How can I be myself? You know, I've been thinking, who we were doesn't have to define who we're going to be. We can choose. We all can. That sounds great, but how can I be myself if I don't know who I am? It's a journey. Maybe start by exploring what you love. Like what? I feel stuck. Remember when you loved painting? You used to lose hours in it. Yeah, I did. But that feels so far away now. It's not too late. Just pick up a brush again. It might help you find yourself. What if I don't like it anymore? Then try something else. It's about discovering, not fitting into a mold. I guess I could give it a shot. Exactly. It's okay to be a work in progress. You know, I've been thinking. Who we were doesn't have to define who we're going to be. We can choose. We all can. That sounds great. But how can I be myself? If I don't know who I am. It's a journey. Maybe start by exploring what you love. Like what? I feel stuck. Remember when you loved painting? You used to lose hours in it. Yeah, I did. But that feels so far away now. It's not too late. Just pick up a brush again. It might help you find yourself. What if I don't like it anymore? Then try something else. It's about discovering, not fitting into a mold. I guess I could give it a shot. 
Exactly. It's okay to be a work in progress. I just feel so lost, you know? Like, who am I even supposed to be? I hear you. But you know, who we were doesn't have to define who we're gonna be. We can choose. We all can. That's what I'm struggling with. If I don't even know who I am, how can I choose who I want to be? That's a tough one. But maybe it's not about finding some fixed identity. Maybe it's about allowing yourself to explore and discover new parts of yourself. But what if I don't like what I find? What if I don't know how to be myself? Hey, that's okay. It's a journey, not a destination. The important thing is being open to it, not judging yourself. You've got this. You really think so? Absolutely. You've got the power to choose who you want to be. It might take some time, but you'll figure it out. I believe in you. Thanks, Alex. I needed to hear that. I just feel so lost, you know? Like, who am I even supposed to be? I hear you, but you know. Who we were doesn't have to define who we're gonna be. We can choose. We all can. That's what I'm struggling with. If I don't even know who I am, how can I choose who I want to be? That's a tough one. But maybe it's not about finding some fixed identity. Maybe it's about allowing yourself to explore and discover new parts of yourself. But what if I don't like what I find? What if I don't know how to be myself? Hey, that's okay. It's a journey, not a destination. The important thing is being open to it, not judging yourself. You've got this. You really think so? 
Absolutely. You've got the power to choose who you want to be. It might take some time, but you'll figure it out. I believe in you. Thanks, Alex. I needed to hear that. A little extra. Highlighting other articles and videos that use keywords from this content. They are in simple English. Check them out to learn more. That's a tough one. Someone is asking the authors if there's a key lesson they want readers to take from their books. You all the way over. Um, I would just like to ask uh, all three, all four of you, if there's anything out of all the books that you have wrote, is there like a special, um, lesson that you look like everybody reads all your books to take? Wow, that's a tough one. Whoa. So that's a question. John, do you want John to start with that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think the lesson I want everyone to learn is... I appreciate the people in my life and my supportive team. I'm inspired by entrepreneurs from diverse backgrounds who overcome challenges to build their businesses. Hi, I'm Bruce uh, and I run the FX portfolio of companies. Um, we're an international portfolio that works with entrepreneurs at all stages of their development. So I think day to day, things that I appreciate is probably just the people I get to spend my time with. Um, I'm really fortunate for um, the kind of loved ones in my life, my girlfriend, my parents, my brother. Um, you know, that, that matters a lot to me. I really appreciate them and how supportive they are. I love the team that we've built. Uh, and I really massively appreciate them. I think you come up with a vision of what you want to achieve and you can only take it so far. And then you have to create this culture and this team of people who are passionate about what you're trying to achieve and will work really hard to do that. So I'm super grateful for the people that we, we've got on our team. What inspires me? I think that's a tough one because I'm actually inspired by so much. I'm inspired by the, the companies who have come from different backgrounds, the people behind those companies that have come from all sorts of diverse backgrounds, uh, personal struggles, and yet are building a business. Because building a business is really hard. I think sometimes the glitz and glamour of... How can I be? How can I be sure? How can I be sure what's right and wrong?
How can I be sure this won't happen again? How can I be sure I learn what I need? How can I be so? How can I be so unlucky? How can I be so stupid? Why is the world so unfair? Why can't I be rich, too? How can anyone treat me so badly? When you ask questions like this, your subconscious may well provide answers. that have nothing to do with reality, like How can I be so sure about that? How can I be so confident, you ask? I wonder how can I be so powerful? Yet I am so weak. How can I be so helpful to others? If I need help so badly, how can I be more? How can I be more creative? How can I be more productive today? How can I be more social? And get more friends and attract other people. How can I be a better? How can I be a better person? How can I be a better father? How can I be a better partner? Start by thinking of yourself as the new me. This book will help you change for the better. Write down daily reminders to focus on being.
A better version of yourself. Key concepts. Begin by describing yourself as the new me. This book is going to talk about you changing for the better. Therefore, the new me begins to exist. As soon as you start altering the old one, As soon as you start making positive changes, you become the new me. The new version of you starts to emerge. As soon as you start changing the old one, besides, it feels good. I think you'll find it a refreshing way to think about yourself. Better me and the new me. Our powerful daily focuses or mantras. It helps to write it down. How can I be a slightly better me? If it's in a few places as a daily reminder, it's easier to keep the focus. You can use my examples. Or come up with your own specifics. But phrase them audibly and as questions. Questions to focus on better me. What can I do to be happier? How can I treat my body better? What can I do to be better at my job? How can I be a better parent? What can I do to be a better lover? How can I be a slightly better golfer? How can I be a slightly better me?
I know this is redundant. This is repeating the same thing. This is repetitive. But write this one down, or write down a few versions. Because if you don't have the daily reminder, it's easy to forget. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps your learning English.